Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the NECA Grindhouse Planet Terror figures, straight from the NECA vault. So before we take a look at any of the other characters, let's take a look at the star of this series, Cherry and her accessories. So first up, Cherry comes with her base. She definitely benefits from using this because her heels make it very hard for her to stand, and more so with the next accessory I'm going to show off. And finally, she comes with her machine gun leg, and this looks really nice, and it's surprisingly easy to switch out. I was really afraid with this being an older NECA figure that it would be really fragile, but it is very easy to swap out, and I'm happy about that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the head sculpt. So taking a look at this head sculpt, I feel like it kind of resembles Rose McGowan, but I feel like something is just off with it. I feel like they definitely got her facial shape right, like especially the cheekbones, I think they sculpted that really well. I think it might be the eyes that's throwing it off a little bit. I do think it resembles her, but something is just slightly off with the sculpt. And for some reason, they chose to paint black up in her nostrils, and that just looks funny. It is incredibly noticeable. It looks like she has some really crazy nose hair sticking out there. So yeah, I think that's one of my main issues with this head sculpt. The hair is sculpted really, really nicely. It has some nice light brown variation over top of it. It looks really good, and it's really pliable. I kind of wish more companies would make hair like this now. I've noticed that a lot of the older NECA figures with characters that have long hair have this really pliable rubbery hair. And I really wish more companies would use that nowadays because a lot of figures could benefit from that. I think a lot of articulation would be freed up if companies would use that type of hair. Her necklace is sculpted and painted on really well. It's such a really, really small detail there. And it's painted on very nicely. One weird thing is I do have a bunch of black scuffs on mine. You can see a scuff there on the neck, some right here by her collarbone. So yeah, it's kind of weird that she has that. Her top has some really nice texturing to it, though as you can see some red did run over here on the skin tone. She has some paint variation over top of her skin giving it some different tones. It's like a uh, reddish color, maybe it's like an orangish color. And I think it looks pretty good. I feel like it's a bit heavy in some areas like here on her elbows. You can tell that it's really heavy, but I feel like it's kind of subtle everywhere else. That and on her knees. I feel like it could have been just a little more subtle there. But I do like that they added some paint variation to the skin tone there. Another odd paint choice is they decided to paint her belly button black. <laughs> and just like with her nostrils, it looks a little funny. It's a little more subtle than her nostrils. Her nostrils are very solid black. And this, I feel like it's a little bit faded there. But yeah, that's still kind of odd. Her skirt has some very nice sculpt detail to it. It has some nice paint variation over top of the wrinkles. That looks very nice. Her wrapping here for her stump is textured and painted really, really nicely. I'm happy with how that turned out. And as I said, the gun is painted very nicely. You get some dry brushing of silver and a little bit of brown making it look rusted. That looks very nice. And then her boot is also sculpted really well. It's got a very subtle texturing to it, as well as some dry brushing. And then the charms there on her boot are sculpted and painted really nicely. So now let's go over her articulation. She has a ball jointed head that is pretty hindered. She can't move back at all. She can barely move down. She can move side to side, even though the hair doesn't hinder the articulation, just the way it's sculpted, it's hindered. She doesn't have any articulation here. I really wish her arms would have at least moved up and down. Um, she does have a thigh swivel on the right side because of where you swap this out, and the only other articulation is a swivel here at the boot. So I am kind of disappointed in her articulation. You know, she's the star of the film. She should have had better articulation than that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at Dakota. So first up, Dakota comes with a base just like Cherry does, and she benefits from that because she has heels on. Without this base, she would not stand at all, and it is meant to go in her right foot. If you put it on the left, then she'll lean forward on the base and fall over constantly. So yeah, definitely plug it into this one. And finally, she comes with her syringes and the syringe gun here. And these are sculpted really nicely. I like that you can actually attach the syringes to the gun there. And she actually should have an extra syringe here on the back of that strap on her thigh. There should be one back here as well, but there isn't. The only bad thing is because of the way her hand is sculpted, she can't actually hold this. She just meant to kind of uh, put her hand over top of it while it's in the holder there on her thigh. I was kind of let down that she can't actually grab it, but it kind of looks that way when you have it posed that way. So taking a look at this head sculpt, I don't think it's a terrible likeness of Marley Shelton. Just like with Cherry, I feel like the likeness could be a little bit better. 
but I don't feel like it's terrible overall either. I feel like she should have had some mascara running. I feel like that would have improved the figure just a little bit. But the sculpt itself isn't terrible. And she has some really nicely sculpted hair. It's got some light blonde painted over top of it. And then you get some brown painted over the top here. And that looks very nice. I do like the paint variation we get to the hair there. It looks very nice. Her top is done in this shimmery blue collar, and it looks really good. It also has a little bit of darker blue painted over top of the wrinkles. That looks really good. Just like with Cherry, though, this has some weird black scuffs on it, and that's a bit unfortunate. It's weird, though, because there's not even any black on this figure except for down here and on her heels. There's nothing that should have rubbed this and made some paint scuffage. And just like with Cherry, she has some paint variation over top of her skin tone. And I feel like it's really heavy. She looks like she has some spray tan on, especially here on the back of her arms. And on her knees, it is very, very heavy. Her left knee right there has a bunch of that variation painted over top of it. I feel like it could have been just a little more subtle. Her skirt has some pretty nice sculpt detail to it. The pattern is sculpted very nicely and painted very well. That's some really little details right there that's sculpted really nicely. And the only other paint variation is there on her heels. So now let's go over her articulation. She has a ball jointed head that can't look back at all. She can't even look down at all. She can't move her head side to side. She has shoulders that swivel all the way around on both sides. I definitely wish Cherry would have gotten that articulation. Since she's kind of meant to be looking like she grips that gun right there, I really don't think she needed articulation there. And finally, she has articulation here at the thighs and... <laughs> Oh, that looks terrible. She has articulation at the thighs, and it does that. Or if you want to, she can also <laughs> she can also do that. So yeah, I'm not quite sure why she needed articulation there, unless she just wanted her to be walking backwards like that. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the final figure, Rapist Number One, or as he's also known, Quentin Tarantino. So first up, he comes with his gun. And his gun is sculpted really nicely. It's got some nice paint variation to it. He does have a holster for it, but this holster is very stiff and it doesn't want to go down in it. Besides, he does have a trigger finger, so if you take it out of his hand, he's going to look very funny just holding nothing there. Up next, he comes with the canister and the breathing device, and that looks very nice. The canister itself has some incredible sculpt detail to it. The hose that runs to the mask is very flexible. It's got some nice gray paint over top of it. And this slides over top of his face very nicely. I think that looks very awesome. And finally, he comes with an alternate damaged head sculpt, and that looks very nice. You can see the piece of Cherry's former prosthetic leg sticking out of his eye there with some blood running down the side. You can see the boils starting to form on his face. This is a very awesome alternate head sculpt. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at his regular head sculpt. So I feel like all of the budget from this wave went towards Quentin Tarantino because I think this is a pretty good likeness of him. I do feel like the eyes are a little far apart, but the facial shape is definitely there. You can definitely tell that's Quentin Tarantino. From either side you look at, you can tell that's him. So yeah, I do think he has the best likeness out of all of these figures. Has some nice paint variation over top of his skin, and his hair is sculpted really nicely. You get a little bit of light brown paint over top of the dark brown. So yeah, this head sculpt looks very good. I do wish that Cherry would have been the best likeness out of the three, but it is what it is, I guess. His army clothes are sculpted very nicely. The camouflage is painted really well. You can see his name tag there is Lewis. I don't think he's actually listed as that in the credits, though. I think the credits actually list him as rapist number one. And then you can see his patch there that says Hell on Wheels. And then the patch on this side that says Special Forces. Those are incredibly tiny, but they actually do say that. I'm really happy with that. The logo there on his shirt looks really nice. You can see that it looks like it's faded, like the print on it is chipping a little bit. That looks very good. I do wish he would have had a waist swivel here. I think that would have been a perfect place to be a cut for a joint there. But it's completely solid right here. You still get some really good sculpt and paint detail to the pants. That looks very nice. And he also has some really nice sculpt detail to his boots. He has some paint variation of some light brown over top of them. That looks really good. But the way that the feet are sculpted, he doesn't want to stand. You can see that his right foot is always tilted up. So I do wish he would have included a stand as well. I think he really would have benefited from that. So now let's go over his articulation. He has a ball-jointed head that can't really look up at all. 
he can move down very slightly. He can move his head side to side. He has shoulders that can move out just a little bit. He has a swivel elbow. On this side, he has a swivel forearm. And he has swivel boots that can move side to side. So here they all are next to each other. I'm really happy that NECA released these in the NECA vault last month. I had always wanted these figures. I don't know why I never got around to getting them, but I'm very happy that NECA put them back up for sale because these are some really awesome figures. The articulation and paint detail on these is definitely lacking a little bit, but I suppose that's probably a product of its time. You know, this was before they had all of the print tech and the articulation that NECA does now. So despite these being a little bit dated and products of their time, I would still recommend picking this up because they are very awesome. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and share this video. Thanks for watching.